Hello crafters and welcome to Peter P Crafts online show brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Crafts Show, our scrapbooking, mixed media and paper craft community. I'm your host Wendy Stewart and I'm super excited to be with you for this session and sharing some lots of fun and goodies that are coming our way. So Peter P Crafts online show is bringing you over 30 demonstrations and interviews with our talented retailers and guest artists and haven't they been incredible and let me tell you you're in for a treat this session. For all of the details please head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can get all the up-to-date details of the show, our links to sponsors and all our guests. While you're there, make sure you've joined the mailing list so you can get every single update about the show, upcoming events, links to the replays. We don't want you to miss a thing. Special thank you to our sponsors, Darkroom Door and Uniquely Creative. Darkroom Door is located on the central coast of New South Wales. They're a family owned and operated business and they believe in supporting independent craft stores. They create unique rubber stamps and stencils through their blog, videos and workshops. They inspire artists all over the world. Uniquely Creative are passionate about making stamps, dies and embellishments. Through their Creative Kit Club, they specialize in creating kits with matching papers and products so it's easy for you to create projects at home. And who doesn't need easy, right? Now, whether you're popping, whether you're watching on Facebook, beg my pardon, whether you're watching on Facebook, live with us or a replay or on YouTube, please pop into the comments like Jeanette and Christine, say hello, ask any questions, put them in the comments and we will endeavor to answer them during the session. If not, after the session, our guest will go in and answer all the questions. So please let us know you're there. Send us hearts, send us loves, send us likes. We need it all. So I'm so excited now to be able to say welcome to Michelle from Snazzy Scrapping. Let me just get her on the screen. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Wendy. How are you going? I'm really good. How are you today? Good, thanks. Great. Yep. I'm so excited to be able to host this session and to meet you kind of, even though it's virtual. So, Michelle, I know I've only recently discovered Snazzy Scrapping. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and your amazing company. Hi. Um, well, I started um, scrapbooking when my son was one and he's now 23. So, wow. 23 years. Yeah. Um, saw a lady selling creative memory stuff sure. at uh, the Warren Show, bought it. Decided to open a, a leave teaching. I'm actually a high school music teacher. Okay. Um, left teaching in 2005 to open a store for a year. Uh, took a for a, a year. Yeah. <laughs> leave, without, leave without pay for a year, and that's almost 16 years later. That's incredible. <laughs> So I, I have been back teaching um, since and, and teaching mainly yes. kids with disabilities, music and craft. Yes. Uh, so have done that as well. Sure. Um, so my shop was uh, in Bolt Street in Dubbo for 11 years. Yes. And then due to downturn, I decided to um, uh, move to the house. And I had started doing a few craft shows then and before I moved and uh, made it easier once I'd moved because I didn't really need staff to look after the store, only, although mum yes. and dad that for me anyway. Um, anyway, and that's where I met Michelle. Uh, I did the Send Down Picture page last year and then her show, the Bendigo Picture page, was the last show I did right. this year before we all... That, uh, when that feels like a lifetime ago, Michelle. I know. And we would have been in Sandown this we weekend. We would have. We would have. It's um, really great show. But, um, yeah, so this year I've actually had quite a bit of time to dabble into designing own products and, and getting our name out great. there, got the website, which my nephew did, and now um, it's virtually a full-time job. Yes, uh, just uh, put in my last designs this week for the year because I need a break. Sure. And, and I'll be showing you a sneak peek of those today and what we've got that's new. And oh, that's awesome. And I think, you know, as you were saying, it was we were saying before we started, it has been an extraordinary year. And I think crafting has kept us all sane. I know it's kept me sane. And it's brought our community closer together. And, yes, we've all had to pivot and adapt to online. But I think yep. it's been a lifesaver. And I'm sure you'd feel the same way. Well, Wendy, my sister was doing a lot of the design for me last sure. year. 
And then I've always been, I can draw, I can draw not right. uh, sketch, but I can do straight and things like that. And I can look at something and work it out and everything like that. Okay. And because I've had that extra time and I've got a great design team, um, Anne-Marie, Sharon, Nicole and Hayley. Yes. Um, and they are so very, very different. Um, so that I design the products and I've got a, a lay a friend of mine, Lynn, from Lynn Art Artwork. She hand draws a lot of our designs and then um, get them produced and then the girls do all the samples for me. That and is... they, they do some great samples. Yes. So, and um, it's wonderful. See their and work today. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. sorry sorry to interrupt. And I know right. that you have so many unique Australian-themed designs, which I think are just incredible and I haven't found them anywhere else and I think they're fantastic. And I was lucky enough to win a stamp set from you a couple of months ago. Uh, it's just gorgeous. And you do create really unique products to bring into uh, scrapbooking, card making. I've put them in art journal pages. You know, you can use them for anything. Well, Wendy, my biggest thing is I was in the industry for a long time and I would ask wholesalers to do things and they'd go, oh, yeah, righto, righto, oh, right, okay. you know, and, yes. and pop you off. And so I try and listen to the customers. So yes. when we bought out our first um, two car and stamp die sets, the Tirana and the GTHO, um, I had lots of people commenting, you know, will you do a Datsun, will you do yes. a panel van, <laughs> things like that. So I do listen to people. Yes. Some people contact me and say, can you do this? And it, I know that... Um, it's not as easy process as what people think. Sure, sure. So I do take people's comments on board. Absolutely. But if you saw the amount of um, comments and emails I get, I can't produce everything people ask for. I'm sure. And so the Aussie Birds is probably one of our most popular and the, the yes. um, shearing shed and the silos. Or I have put it as wool shed, but it can be shearing shed. Yeah. But my hubby's from the farm. He grew up on a farm. Right. So... He, he has to, every uh, thing that I, I want to bring out, he, I say to him, okay, I'm going to do this, and he says, yes, that's good, no, that's not good, that's not realistic, and, and things like that. Same with the cars. Best feedback you could get, I say. Well, he's pretty blunt. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you've He'll got to love him. him designs that have just been thrown out and not done because sure. he just said no that's that's not going to work and um our inappropriate stamp sets which i haven't shown on screen um, <laughs> they are a bit rude but but honestly they're our most popular but that's but happens. that's our aussie style and sense of humor so so i think yeah. we should get going and get to see all yeah. these amazing goodies so i'm going to just give me one moment i'm going to switch my camera around and you can switch your camera around and we'll get started. So I'll be back in a second. So this is going to be exciting. I know Michelle has got some amazing goodies to show us. She's just flicking her camera around and as soon as she's ready, she will start her demonstration. Please go and check out her website because she's got incredible things to share with you. So Michelle, if you're ready to go, if you can just give me a thumbs up on the screen and I will start the demo camera, not quite yet. So, yep, here she goes. All right, so please enjoy this demo. Okay. All yours, Michelle. Thank you, Wendy. So I'm going to start with um, our new Australian Flora okay. uh, stamp and die sets. So this is a new one. Can you see that? Yeah, if you can turn it around, that would be wonderful. Just No, just the stamp set, nothing else. Oh, okay, so I've got yep. it up. Yeah, that's okay. it. That's all you got to do. Yep, perfect. Okay, can you bear with me for one minute? I can. I because can. Because I am going to go and get you up on here so I can actually see it. Um, no problem. Camera, um, because otherwise this is going to happen the whole time. Yep. I'm going to be... That's all uh, right. I'll just say good afternoon to a few ladies okay. who've joined us. So hello, Trish. Hello, Bev. Hello, Pam. Hello, Alison. Hello, Carol, Suzanne, Rosalind, and Marie, Marion, Di, Lorraine, Sophie, Carol, Beryl. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you having us. Michelle, it's totally fine because okay. I can get you to turn yep. the projects around. So just leave it as it is and yeah, get started when you're ready. Not a problem. So, 
introduced a few ladies who've joined us. So hello, Trish. Hello, Beth. Hello, You might Beth. just need to turn that volume down, Michelle. Suzanne. No, I'm going to take it off. Okay, yep. I'm right now. I, I just have, um, oh, I've just worked out how to get rid of Wendy's head. Oh, there it you was, go. <laughs> it was sitting over the camera and I couldn't work it out. There you go. So this is our first stamp and die set. I really, I'm really sorry about that, that that happened. Um, I sort of had Wendy's head sitting over the top and couldn't it's see where it was. It's all good. It's all good. So Lynn from Lynn Art, um, Artwork has uh drawn this i usually give her an idea of what type of thing that okay, i want okay. and she sends me through a design and i say yes no um can you change this can okay. you change yep. that we try and make it look as authentic as as possible because we want it to look like um something that you get out in the bush and um so sharon has made this card first which i'll i'll just show you this is also using our Aussie oh, how beautiful. stamp set. And she's actually used some real um, little um, nuts on here. Oh, and, stunning. Yeah, and she's done this one with Copic um, markers. I think that she said that was a piece of Kayser paper there. Right. And um, she's used the Fair Dinkum out of the stamp set as well. Beautiful. Um, Anne Marie. And Anne Marie's done this one. She's actually used a Merry Christmas um, from Down Under. Okay. We've got uh, that's out of our paper pack because um, I've done paper as well. And um, the from Down Under is out of our um, Aussie Bird stamp set. Okay. Um, it's got a Merry Christmas from Down Under stamp set. Yes. Um, another one that Anne Marie's done. So that's also from our paper pack. That is and just beautiful. I love the combination she's used on that. Yeah, she's the colours just um, match in really well. I, she's a bit of messy here where she's gone out of the lines, but <laughs> after watching Art by Marlene last night, you can go out of the lines. Of course what you can. Who says yeah. you can't? Of course we she, can. She was fantastic. I, I really enjoyed yeah, um, Marlene's amazing. That, that one. Now, um, I must apologise because Paul Haley couriered her samples to me and the courier didn't get here in time. So Haley's samples aren't going to be shown today, but um, I'll make sure I put them up on Facebook Oh, later. wonderful, yep. I'm sure we can so, all go and visit your Facebook page to check them out. Yep. So this is one Nick's done. She's actually stamped and embossed in, in gold. Okay. And the verse that she's put on the front, it's part of our Christmas uh, verse insert stamp um that i designed so i did a range of stamps um for you to use on the inside of your card yes but you actually put that on the outside of the card and left the inside blank so you can just write your own little message her idea of this one is she you can do your own little christmas letter inside for those people that do christmas letters right right that's people. a great idea yeah i used to <laughs> <laughs> The kid, the kids got older and they said, we don't want to be in the Christmas letter. Yeah, fair enough. And here's another one Nick's done. Now, Nick loves making her own stamps. So okay. she has, out of our gum leaf, small gum leaf die, and she's used a piece of craft foam. And this is just your cheap craft foam, self-adhesive craft foam from Reject Shop. Okay. And so she just cuts a piece out. You never run it through backwards. You just run it through once, cuts it out, and then puts it on the block and you'll see that background stamp. Yes. She's made the stamp out of that. This little, um, the Thinking of Use, one of our stamp sets as well, it's in the sentiment stamp set that we bought out not long ago. Yes. And this um, die set here is part of our sentiment die sets. So I've bought a, a couple of them out. That was out of the first set. Yes. Um, this is the second set I've bought oh, out. Oh, wow. Okay. So they're, they're just dies that nest inside each other for you to use on the front of your um, cards. Yeah. Brilliant. So and that, I, I can see them being used in, you know, art journal pages, scrapbooking, really anything, yeah, Michelle. Anything at all. So that's one that Nick's made. So that's our first Australian um, stamp set. Now, this is the second one that Lynn drew for me, and this is the Waratah. Oh, I think that's one of my favourites of yours. Yep. So 
I have it. I've, it's up on the website at the moment, but it's saying at, that it's sold because uh, we had to change this design. It didn't. The first design didn't work out. Okay. And when they made the die, they made it on their first design. So um, the die was supposed to come this week with all my other slimline dies. Sure. But I got a message saying that it was still sitting in in my reps. Um, office oh, that no. they forgot to put it in so it, it's on its way so this is one Sharon has made wow. with that card so that's pretty um spectacular again she's used the um sentiment die set that we have that's the newest one that one so that's the largest one she's used there beautiful and then she's stamped the background in that but don't the colours look fantastic? Oh, my goodness. And you could just as easily turn that into a Christmas card. You could just put a Merry Christmas on it. Well. And it's so beautiful. Wendy, this is one Nicole did. <gasps> oh, <so>. well, gee, <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. Wow. They, they think alike. Um, they think alike all the time. So yes. Nicole's um, uh, done the background with the stencil and then oh, she's used wow. the the, um, they've had to fussy cut um, that stamp because the die didn't come. Yes. Um, but uh, that's one using that one. Here's another one from Nicole. And wow. um, we have a, a, a closed little um, snazzy design team group. Yes. And, and it was so funny because I send them all their happy mail and then they post what they're doing in that group. And... Um, Sharon and Anne Marie posted virtually on the same day, Brilliant. and they both used the the stamp as a background, yes. coloured in in the red, and used the just because. Oh, so see, I th all, I think that's kindred spirits. You know, they're they all on the same all, wavelength, um, which is wonderful. All thinking um, alike. So yeah, so the eucalypt one is on the website now. The yes. Florita one is on the website, but it's showing out of stock. So as soon as I get the dies this week, and I'm expecting them um, before Friday, okay, uh, that will show. Um, yeah, that All it's right. in. Yep, stock. great. Yeah. and um, don't worry. I, I usually put that there's 30 in stock, but I do have a lot more um, than 30. Oh, good so. to know because I think you might get inundated just quietly. Oh, that's all right. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the slimline. So last time um, I showed oh, wow. my slimline die sets, right? So these were the first ones I did, and I actually did another um, die for this one. Okay. Uh, so you get a full background with this one, and then you get the stars. So I'm just quickly – is that the right way yes, up? Yes, that's the right way up. Thank you so much. Sorry. I'm, I'm no, no, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. So Nick's made this one and it's a shaker one. So that's using our gnome stamp and die set. Oh, and then cutest. she's just used the little prills in that. Look at them. I don't know whether you can see yes, that. Yes, we can. It's adorable. Yeah, so that's um, the star one. I'm just going to show you the old sets because some people may oh, not. Oh, yes, please. So this is the ornate tag ones I designed. Okay. And... Sharon's actually used the, the smallest one to make bookmarks. So these are out of our paper ranges, Bohemian Dream. How this one. stunning. And this is Blue Meadow. So um, some of the papers are double-sided. So okay. you can, yep, and some of them aren't. aren't. Because okay. something yep. like this you don't want to um, well, no. not use. No, yet. absolutely. But, um, what an easy gift for a person, and very quick. What a stunning and, gift, Michelle. Yes, very quick and easy. Now, Anne-Marie's done this one and she's used a little bit um, in the stamping. She's used our, uh, our new um, inappropriate stamp set. <laughs> it, it, it has a couple of um, happy birthday from your favourite daughter, happy birthday from your favourite sister. Yes. So you can give them yourself to, um, and I gave one to my favourite sister, a <laughs> She's not really. Oh, I shouldn't say that, should I? <gasps> Michelle, <laughs> this is live. <laughs> Our favourite sister rang me up and asked me to send one. She wanted to pay me to make one and send one to the sister. So our eldest sister got two cards for her birthday from her favourite sister. That's hilarious. Sister. So it was a, a bit um, funny at the time. Well, I hope she, she felt the love. Yes, 
I didn't put love your guts on there. That um, I love that love your guts stamp. I love it. Nadine and Kathy wanted that on a stamp set, so um, I did that for them. So they, I hope they're feeling the love. And also out of that one, um, Sharon's made. Oh wow! One with our Datsun car. That's our newest car. One of our newest ones. And this happy birthday mates out of our um, Aussie bird stamp yes, set. Yes, yes. She's actually used, um, I think that was a Kayser gum leaf, that one, but she's right. used the little um, nuts or whatever Beautiful. they're called. Well, I know there are some car fans watching live right now, so they'll be drooling over that one. Oh, I do. Um, that We have got a car sentiment um, stamp set coming, stamp and die set as well. Oh, uh, this was... Our oval one. Now, this one also comes with an oval love and hugs. Okay. And it's actually a stitched oval. And then these are stitched around the edge as well. So oh, how perfect. The girls, I haven't um, bought my samples of what I made in these because I showed them last time. You can always look at that. But Absolutely, Nick's made, yeah. Nick made this one. Um which looks great for a, a young male. Brilliant. Uh, a happy 18th birthday. She specialises in backgrounds. She's very oh, good. Oh, that at is stunning. With oxides. So yeah. I, the cool. camera's catching it beautifully, so that was lovely to see. And then this one, Zen Marie's made this one out of a oh, bow wow. um, paper. So she's put a bit of bling and silver. Your team has done an incredible job. Everybody is drooling. Oh. Oh, they try hard. They now, they are fabulous. Okay, so our last one that I bought out last time. Yes. That was the, the friends one. So you got this lattice. Oh right. And, okay. Um, you also get a friend eye. Okay. In there. I don't know whether it's around the right way. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, you're fine. It's the right way. Yep. So this was one that um, Sharon's made. Oh uh, my goodness. That was with our Christmas papers as well. Yes. Um. Sharon also made this one with the ribbon, ribbon Look weaving. The weaving, my goodness. Yeah, so that's um, something different, isn't it? Stunning. I actually had a little go myself um, with that. Yeah, and you could it, do that for Christmas in whatever colour scheme you want. You know, you don't have to do red and green, so. Yeah, well, um, uh, Nadine uh, in our VIP group, because um, people post what they, they do yes. in there, Nadine actually put little dogs sort of sitting up oh, as if they were sitting shoot. out the window. So if you're not in our VIP group, make sure you join and go and um, at, and look at Nadine's because um, we give a, have a giveaway there every week too. Oh, as well. okay. Yeah. Now this is one that Nick's done with our unicorn stamp and die set. Yes. And um, oh, I think it's just a stamp set, sorry. And then she's put different colours in underneath. How so clever. That's pretty groovy. Um, she's done this one with the sentiment die set again. Yes. Our happy birthday. This one, she's used our happy birthday with heart um, uh, die set, but yes. she's cut the heart off because it was male. Um, yes. A male card. But she's actually um, cut strips. I don't know whether you can see that. Yes, she's we can. Cut, we cut can. strips of basil underneath and then put them the other way. Incredible. To give it sort of Just incredible. Checked effect. Okay, so are you ready for the new ones? Yes, absolutely. And before you move on, could we just ask what size the slimline dies are, please? George is asking. Okay, so the first ones, those ones, um, I I will honestly say that I just took it off Google. So I did those sizes. They will fit in a DLX envelope. They will just fit in a DL, okay. but it's not, it's not comfortable. Okay. So, I went down to Office Works and I bought some DLX um, uh, envelopes. Yes. And um, the sizes are on our website, the exact sizes. But these new ones that I'm going to show you, I actually designed smaller. Okay. So, so this will I, fit the DL envelopes that we get in Australia. I will show you. Um, the other ones do fit in the DL. Yes. But they're better in the DLX. Okay. Great. Um, it's just a little bit larger and it's still the same postage cost. Okay. So this is the first set that I did. So with this set, you get a um, rectangle on the outside that's got a stitched edge and then you get a frame, 
um, that has the um, gum leaves and yes. the waratah, and then you get the Gaudet Mate. Now, I don't know whether you can see this. I've actually used for this one the Dilution Shimmer Spray. Yes, I can see. It's definitely shimmery on my screen, so I'm hoping everyone yes. else can see it too. So I love them. I buy them from Darkroom Door. Um, Beautiful. I buy, I buy all my Dilutions and, and um, range of stuff from Rachel. Okay, yeah. Great yeah. company. Um, yeah, so I actually had a bit left. I, I mean, it's so easy because um, you just go, you virtually go spritz, 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 and you've got a background. They're fantastic, those sprays. So I cut that out and I actually had a bit left and I put it in there as well. I mean, I, it was just showing that you can just, how good it looks on the background. So this one... This card, I actually just, it's just 8 inches by 8 inches or 20.3 centimetres by 20.3 centimetres. And when you fold it in half, the card base is perfectly on the DL envelope. So that'll fit perfectly in a DL envelope. That's brilliant. Out of an A4 piece of card, you can get your card base. Yes. And if you want to then cut the die you'll yes. get your die as well so if you want to be frugal and um and do that i mean technically i would do the card base and then the frame die sure. because you want it probably to be the same color and then cut your other base out of something else yes so that's our first set gorgeous I'm michelle I'm gorgeous i'm trying to keep the australiana thing so this is our second set and this this is a um, one, two, three, four, five, six die set. Yes. So you get a um, dotted frame to start with and then a dotted rectangle. Then you get the frame that's got the windmill, the tree, the kangaroo and the emu in it. You get the fair dinkum words and I don't, I put them inside. Beautiful. And that in there. Uh, must thank Nick for doing this blended background oh, for me. It's spectacular. And then you get the cloud and the bird. Um, I could have done more clouds, I suppose, and that, but um, that sort of hubby liked this. Yeah, set. it's a beautiful so, Australian scene. It really yeah. is. And that, and I mean, you don't have to use it all. If you don't want to use it as a slimline, you can always cut it and put it there and use it as a C6. Yes. You know. They're virtually the same. The C6 and the slimline are virtually the oh, there same you go. Um, width. It's just the length's different. Yeah. But you've got to remember that the postage is the best part because it's our normal um, postage. Business sized envelope, which is yeah. great. Yes. Only costs you a dollar ten, isn't it? There Post. you go. <laughs> we need so, we need all that. This is the third set that I've designed. I'll just beautiful drop something on that one so this one you get um nested rectangles oh, and they're stitched so you get three ne- nested rectangles and then a nested square in gorgeous, this one so gorgeous. you've got it's a six die set again and they're all priced at 22.99 so um that is so incredible and so reasonable it's incredible michelle seriously look uh, wendy some of my orders have cost me nearly $500 in postage to get out here oh at the goodness, moment during yes. COVID. Yes. But I try and keep the prices as reasonable as I possibly can. Yes. Um, this one's got the flower and it's got the word smile in it. But I, I, I'm not a card maker. So, I I mean, I it's like last time. The, the stuff came that um, just before this show. So I didn't have time sure. to get it girls to do things so I've just sort of whipped them up yes um, Anne Marie and Haley um, in my design team have started a new our sister Facebook group called Slimline Card Makers oh I love it so um, Anne Marie and her are admins on that and uh, there's been quite a few people join that already um, you can join and just post your Wonderful. your ideas or get other ideas off people so that's um that's the last of the slimline now oh no it's not it's not I've, got, <laughs> I've done this one this isn't really slimline but they're long borders to oh, use on beautiful slimline. okay so there's a set of four borders and they're 
this one's a little bit smaller, but it's still long enough for the thing. Yes. But they're all long enough for you to use on edges on your slim line. Fantastic. Or your cards as well. So beautiful, beautiful. They're, um, they're something that I bought out thinking that we can use on any type of card, square. Anything. Um, and, you know, scrapbook layouts, as I keep going on about scrapbook layouts, art journal pages, everything, which is wonderful. Yep. Now, I wanted to show you this next thing. So I released this die set. That's sort of, um, that's just the die set in the thing. I released this a couple of weeks ago. Yes. And, oh, I'll turn it there around. There you go. Yep, up. perfect. Thank you. So this is a creator card die set. And um, so you get the set in them yes and you get and it cuts out the base with all the cut lines and the fold lines already there for you wow so all you have to do and then each one of these other dies i'll just get that out and show you sure they do all your little decoration bits so it's so it probably took me three minutes to cut out. Yeah, and normally I think we've all done those cards, you know, and cut by hand and then you've messed them up a little bit so and, you've got to fix them, so, you know. Yeah, and I was um, sort of pedantic with this one. So sure. um, that's coming back in stock this week and I've got plenty this time, awesome. so I'm hoping I don't sell out in two days again. Wonderful. Um, but it's it's the first of four. Now, I... Anne Marie also did that was with my uh, Blue Meadow yes. paper range. Okay. Yep. And Anne Marie made it with the Bohemian Dream. Oh, she stunning. Bohemian stunning. Dream, um, paper range. Brilliant. So she made it with that. And Sharon has made it with our. Oh, the, this is all spectacular. Our sea Adventure. Brilliant. Sea Adventure paper range. Um, now, we're going to be putting little YouTube videos up on how to fold them. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory because this one ends up with yes. folds yes. and then these, it ends up here. But we're going to put some things up on how she's got a little so – can you see the little bottle? Yes, hanging? I can. Yep. Yeah. And what's that die called again, please, it's Michelle. a creative card. So this is the Tri um, Shutter Fold card. Tri Shutter now, Fold card, okay. Now, I've put on the front of my website, Yes. I've put links to the um, – I wasn't smart enough to do the P2P thing like everybody else. <laughs> we couldn't work that out. But i put links to the Australian Flora, the – um, create a card and the slimline dies okay. on the front page, on the home page. Okay. Sure. So we're so, just about almost at time. I'll, I'll be very quick. Yep, then. no problem because okay. we'd love to turn so, the camera around and chat to you before we say goodbye. Yep, I've got two. Um, Beautiful. Another, they're going to be, I've got a step fold set coming. Yes. It'll be about two weeks, an easel card um, fold. Yes. And a window fold card. But before we go, I just want to – this is a sneak peek. These are coming this week, okay, and they'll be up on the website. I don't have – I only have pictures of what they'll oh, be. Oh, okay. But this is our Outback Dunny. Okay. Our Aussie, Aussie Dunny um, <laughs> I love it. And die set. So you'll get a die for the dunny and a die for the poop. Yes. And then <laughs> it's got – yeah, we know what that says. Oh, that's and now, so cute. Yep. Um, our second set – is going to be a windmill and um, a tank stand die yes. set. This is a stamp and die set. And we've got a bit of ALF there with stone, the flame I and like the like it. I like it. Definitely ALF Stuart happening there. Yep. And then um, this is our third set. These have all been, all the images have been hand-drawn by Lynn from Lynn Oh, Arthur. how amazing. And this is our Aussie um, uh, Christmas. And these little hats here... That it's they're larger than what they yes, are. Yes, so and they'll the, fit on those beautiful birds and all the other things you have. Our Aussie birds. Yeah. Okay. So awesome. they're designed to fit, and you get a die with them as well. So they're designed to go on our Aussie bird oh, stamp. Oh, fantastic! So here I was worried about um, not having enough to show you, and I've almost run out of time oh. with that. <laughs> all right, I'm going to just um, swap cameras for a moment, and we'll come back and have a chat to you. Okay. All right. 
wasn't that incredible crafters so many goodies I don't know what your bank accounts and wallets are gonna look like by the end of this weekend but you know it's all it's all for a good cause so we're just gonna wait for Michelle to come back on screen so we can have a chat hello there hello now listen I before we you go I have to tell you that um, I'm doing a giveaway this weekend so for everybody that puts in an order, if they put P2P comments in their, on their order. Yes. Or if, if you've already done an order this morning, they'll be included as well. Okay. And you get a free stamp set. Wow. And then on our main page, we're running a competition today and tomorrow. But today you get you to win one of my free slimline dies, a slimline die set for free. Wow. Okay? And this is on your Facebook page, Michelle? Yes. Yes. Great. And we're also starting from Wednesday, a product of the week, featured product of the week. Yes. Now I get lots of people sending me um, photos of things they've done with my cards, um, with my products. So this week it, it's our cars we're going to feature and I've got lots of customers that have sent me. So they'll be featured in that um, product of the week. I'll be posting up ideas and photos. And Wonderful. Everything. That's fantastic. And can you quickly, before you go, remind everyone where they can find you and where they can get all these amazing products? Yep. So it's just snazzyscrappin.com. Um, I think Anne Marie was doing a few little posts. Yes, she the, was. Um, yes, she was. Uh, links for me because Dave's not that computer literate. That's okay. um, and then we've got Facebook as well at Snazzy Scrappin, and we've also got a Snazzy Scrappin VIP group and Instagram Snazzy Scrappin. Wonderful. Well, and I have awesome. loved. I've yeah. loved hanging out with you and hosting this session and seeing all those goodies, and I can't wait to get into that slimline stuff. So, Michelle, I'm yeah. going to say bye for now. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy the rest of the show, and we look forward to catching you online soon. Thanks, Wendy. Bye. Thanks. Everyone, bye. Wasn't that incredible? So please go and check out the Snazzy Scrapping website. As you know, there's giveaways, there's specials, join the groups, all the infos on their Facebook page, and Michelle, our Michelle would have linked all that information on our website for you. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Wendy Stewart, and I have loved bringing you this session, and I will catch you at another time during the show. Take care and bye for now.